An impassioned plea at the White House today for gun reform from actor Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey called on the American people to come together to support gun reform after 19 children and two teachers were killed in his hometown of Uvalde, Texas. Chris Wolf is live in the KTLA News Center with more on the actor's call to action in the wake of the nation's latest gun tragedy. Chris. Cher and Pedro, it was quite a performance and it was all from the heart. Matthew McConaughey spoke to the American people live from the White House. Alethea. She was one of the 19 children that were killed the day before. Now, Alethea, her dream was to go to art school in Paris and one day share her art with the world. He shared stories of the murdered children in South Texas, pointing to his wife holding a pair of green high tops worn by another victim. 10 year old Maite Rodriguez. She dreamed of becoming a marine biologist. These are the same green converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that? Emotional, shaky, mm -hmm. tearful. Actor Matthew McConaughey delivers a real best. life urgent plea for gun That's reform following the massacre at an elementary school in the town where he was born, Uvalde, Texas. This moment is different. We are in a window of opportunity right now that we have not been in before. A window where it seems like real change. Real change can happen. Families of the deceased, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, Texas Rangers, hunters, Border Patrol, and responsible gun owners who won't give up their Second Amendment right to bear arms. And you know what they all said? We want secure and safe schools and we want gun laws that won't make it so easy for the bad guys to get these damn guns. Before addressing the nation in a rare live appearance, McConaughey met with President Biden and Democratic and Republican leaders on Capitol Hill. Senators meeting behind closed doors could be close to reaching a deal on new gun restrictions. We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle to 21. We need a waiting period for those rifles. We need red flag laws and consequences for those who abuse them. A new USA Today poll finds that 50 percent of Republicans support stricter gun laws. That's a huge increase after the recent series of mass shootings. This development could boost the prospects for Congress to tighten federal gun laws.